How you doing today? Welcome to Ancient Chart Music and Art. My name's Maya, and uh, I've been gone for a little bit. <laughs> I have this like tiny, tiny following, but uh, I had to disappear for a while because I injured my leg. It tore my hip flexor muscles, and uh, it was extremely painful. And I'm glad it's over. Still not a hundred percent yet, but I'm at about ninety-three. <laughs> I'd say. And, uh, you know, I miss doing stuff like this, so it's nice to uh, be up and around again. So, um, the last guitar that I went over, mini guitar, for people with small hands, no matter what their age group is, you know, um, the last one I did was the mini Strat, which I have in Competition Orange. So you may remember it just from that flamboyant color. And then, um... Prior to that, I had done the Mitchell MM100, and here we have the Ibanez Micro. The Ibanez Micro is just a wonderful little guitar that rocks. It's capable of doing many things, and it has a Gibson Les Paul style pickup setup. So you got a humbucker here, and a humbucker there, and they call it a humbucker because it literally bucks the hump. What happens is you got two pickups combined together that are wired magnetically out of phase so that it reduces hum and therefore they call it the hum bucka. All right, so I'm always so nervous doing these things, but I don't care. So uh, this is one that I actually, uh, I had a problem with the body of the first one. So I found this maroon one for 50 bucks on eBay. And I just attached the neck to it, so it's kind of an unusual combination. It's not unheard of, but uh, usually it's the shark fin inlay and a rosewood. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just a great little axe, man. I love how closely it, it, much like the Squire Strats, it pays real homage and tribute to the original RG body shape, which I think is just a wonderful, wonderful uh, ergonomic body to have against like someone who has a small body like me. I'm five, three and three quarters, three quarters. And um, I'm 115 pounds. So I'm definitely a smaller individual for an adult and even for a woman really. But uh, in any event, <sighs> aside from all the aesthetics, ergonomics and whatever else, um, actually just one more thing I wanted to mention, these barrel knobs are awesome. They move well, they're textured, so that they work very well with uh, your fingerprint, you know, the raised parts there. And, uh, yeah, it just works really well together to have a little bit of something resisting the lines on your fingers, you know? All right, so, oops. <laughs> it's kind of tight in here, but, hey, all goofballness aside, we're going to talk about this beautiful guitar. And I thought... Um, I would do the same thing with the pickups again, so that you can hear how they sound. So we're going to start with the bass, which I incorrectly, but corrected myself below the video, stated before that this was, it's not. This is the bass, the one closest to the neck, and the one closest to the bridge is the treble. How do you achieve mids? Well, you switch it in the middle and activate these two, as if you... Almost had a third humbucker. Almost. I'm being imaginative. But uh, that's what it activates when you hit the middle. So right now, we're getting full um, humbucking response from this beautiful pickup. And I'd have to say for a starter guitar, it's pretty cool. So this is your bassier sound. And uh, this would be the bass with the tone knob all the way to the treble side. The higher side. <laughs> sound I think I mean I do have um, my Bajira amp and my orange uh, little cabinet and uh, I have a picture of that in the community section of my page at some point when I develop editing skills and such I will interweave these things and at some point I'll just probably do a video showing off what I use for equipment Bajira um, you know it's like a hybrid tube amp it's got a 
power tube and a preamp tube. I thought that was pretty cool. It's got reverb. I highly recommend it. Then the little tiny orange cab. Of course, mine is black. And uh, the two of them just, I think they work very well together. I think the two technologies met and fell in love. All right, so a little more of that bass sound, like maybe in some chords. <laughs> with a little uh, distortion and reverb happening. I'm going to actually turn the drive down just a little bit. Because, you know, it, it's a bit of a strong sound. I don't want people thinking that the guitar itself is that loud on its own. In fact, the beauty of electric is you can practice it unplugged. I'm like, you're the only one who's that close to it to hear it. So, you know, contrary to what people think, you don't have to be plugged into practice. Absolutely not. All right, so. humbuckers is you got two pickups like two single coils equals one humbucker and that's uh i don't know if it's exactly twice as much volume but the two combined definitely put out more sound than just one um like strat style single coil pickup would pickups is a whole nother subject that i'll get into at some point just in my nerdy amateurish way of uh getting into things you know which is part of the beauty of just not having alcohol in my life at all. All right, so that's another video, of course. So now we're going to move to where you're actually going to get... You move up one here. You know, so if you were, we were in a bass position, now five-way switching. We're going to go right to the middle. Do, 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 do. There we go. And uh, it's not really that hard to move. For some reason, I, I was habituated into a... One that has a different direction, I guess, or, or I'm just nervous. But, uh, so like when we're here, this is where we're getting these two pickups together. So you're not getting this whole thing. You're not getting this whole thing, but you are getting that whole thing in the middle. They're just spaced. Okay. And this would be considered what is the Midzi sound. <laughs> My treble is all the way up. I'm going to bring the tone knob down to about the middle. So it's got a nice, you know, like rock and roll sound there. strings having fun but uh you know that's a really nice sound so that's mids and mids before we had treble and mids but it's a rock guitar so i'm playing it with a little bit of distortion all right so um i'm gonna go to all the way down to the bass so there's a bass midsy sound with the distortion and a little bit of bassy mids there kind of reminds me of eric johnson but not as good <laughs> of course because eric johnson is just like whoosh. i feel so lucky to have seen his band alien love child uh, uh 2002 somewhere in there 2001 2002 just a little bit of that kind of sound you know i'm not saying that that's what he does it just reminds me of it all right so now, we're going to uh, go all the way back up in the tone knob to the treble and hit the treble, because this is what people like to do when they take solos, like um, treble on treble, so to speak.
So, you know, that's why people like doing that. Like, when you have your treble all the way up, and then you have your treble pick up, you know, like, all the sounds coming from there, that's usually the burning sound that people use. But not always. Certainly not always. Everyone has their different combinations of you know, what pickups they're going to select, how they're going to, you know, there's a lot of different combinations with this tone knob, and that's the beauty of it. Um, but, you know, that that's going to give you the basic sound. Let's say I want to go down to, you know, I'm in my strong treble pickup, but I want to go down to the mids a little bit. I want to play something nice. You know? of chords like that so that gives you an idea as to what that sounds like and that's the beauty of the tone knob too is that uh seeing as it's like rotating you can fine tune that like to wherever you want it within the spectrum that the guitar has for tone all right so now i'm going bassy treble <laughs> Thing. Um, but that's a that's a pretty cool sound too. You could like technically solo on that if you got you know your volume all the way up and the gain's sufficiently cranked in the amp and stuff. And there's so much more to it than anything I'm mentioning. <laughs> I'm not a sound technician, I'm not a professional guitar player, although I have played some gigs and taught lessons. But um, I studied with my uncle when I was 15, and now I'm 56, and it's been a real on-off relationship. But since I gave up alcohol, like you know, me and the guitar, and me and my jewelry, you know, like that, that's where it needed to be all along, and like I say, it's some other video kind of stuff, but hey, you know, for anyone you know, I got some videos talking about my experiences with alcohol, we'll leave that alone for now, so I love the sound of this instrument personally, like I just think it has a really nice timbre, in all the tone selections, you know? What I wanted to do was switch from a typical overdrive sound to more of a metal distortion sound. I've gone from the super overdrive, and I'm turning down a little bit in preparation to be cautious. The super overdrive by Boss, which is an excellent little wicked affordable pedal. Like, I, I just, I can't say enough about it. I love the tone of it. And a lot of these things are just personal taste, you know. But what I got going now is the new X Metal Core distortion pedal. And I just really love it, man. for a little bit so we don't have too much finger talk, string talking in the background, but oh man, I just love that new X metal core pedal so much. And I just happened to find it uh, at a really good price. I might have bought the Boss version if that had been the one that I seen. I'm pretty open-minded about pedals. Um, there's a few that I have that people just can't deal with. Some people. Um, chances are if you're a fan of George Clinton or any of that kind of stuff, I have the Mothership 2 pedal, made by Pigtronics, and Pigtronics makes a lot of, like, different kind of stuff, like, particularly funky stuff, and, you know, referring to the musical idiom funk, and uh, it's got some really intergalactic sounds, at some point I'll do some stuff just with that pedal, but with the metal thing, man, it's just like... scale, like messing around with that here and there, or melodic minor scale, you know, whatever variation we may have. So, 
like I say, I got a fairly, I mean, for my little tiny studio here, you know, and, and this tiny Bajira amp head and my orange amp, you know, a little, it's like, it's really cute. <laughs> It's a cute setup. Check out my community section. But uh, the orange amp just delivers that Bajira Tom beautifully. So that's definitely adding to it. But if this gets hard, but really one I didn't like the sound of anyway, like, let's do this. Metal core is off. Gonna fatten up that sound there. has a pretty nice you know mellow sound too for if you just want to like have some you know nice chords going okay so i was in the bass treble for that whole thing where i was just goofing around but guitar. Um, going back to the mids too, if you just want to play some chords, you know. Weird things happen when you bend strings and when you play like on sevens and eights, like I do, which if you have, you know, the shorter fingers, which I understand is a condition called brachydactylism, <laughs> if I'm saying it right where a lot of the fingers are submer submerged under here. Um, maybe you got that too. But uh, for small-handed players and smaller-bodied players too, you know, and there's a range of different guitars that I want to discuss in this series as we go, now that I got my mojo back uh, healed up for the most part. But uh, I just want to continue to show you guys guitars that will make a small-handed person feel like Steve Vai. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I think it's very important to get with a real teacher, too. And uh, there's loads of good teachers and lessons you can take for free right here on YouTube, you know. Like uh, Marty Music. That's a great guy to get into. That guy really knows what he's doing, man, in terms of teaching. Every time I can't figure out a song, I go to him. I'm like, oh. So Marty Music, man. That guy's incredible. I feel like he's getting just more and more historical every day <laughs> you know like he, he he's on the right side of history with the guitar people you know and what an exciting time that we live in the same epoch you know all right so that about does it sounds good mellow little out of tune but So, um, I tried putting pickups in the last body I had for this, and it didn't go so well, although I have, you know, in, I have switched out pickups before. And, um, so, it was just kind of hard. I, I kept the body, of course, because, you know, you never know what you could learn from something like that if you ever want to get in a guitar building or anything like that. You know, as I continue to age and uh, as long as I have the privilege of living. But uh, when I did that, I just wanted to mention this. When I switched out the bodies, these holes were too small. Like I had to put in some different screws and stuff in like a couple of places. This one fit okay, but must have been some dude's first day on the job. And, um, this one's Chinese, so, you know, at the factory in China, you know, so everyone makes mistakes, and it just seems like the kind of factory where you wouldn't want that to be well-known, like, whew, that kind of thing, so, in any event, <laughs> I just thought that was kind of cool. So, thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate you checking out my channel, 
I got videos on alcoholism and how I got past it and how I continue to fight that fight. And then um, I also got videos on jewelry making, which I need to make a lot more of, actually. So, once again, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, or evening. Enjoy.